Good morning, YouTube. Just wanted to share with you a few things that I keep in my truck that uh, I'm going to put into a new bag I got at Lowe's the other day. My toolbox broke, and I put them in the bag once, and it wasn't organized like I wanted, so I thought I would shift some stuff around. And as you can see, I have it all laid out on my toolbox, on my tailgate right now, and all that has got to fit in that little bag. Anyway, this is one of these new Craftsman trade stack bags. I don't know what it stacks on. It's just a bag. I got a few things going around in there, but got pockets all the way around. Pockets on the inside, some zipper stuff. Got a heavy carrying case, although I'm not sure that that's going to hold up for the weight of all this stuff. Uh, I've been just picking it up by the two handles, and it weighs... Uh, probably over 120 pounds something like that it definitely weighs as much as a couple of bags of dog food at one time so i pretty much just keep it right up in here and then just drag it out on the tailgate get what i need push it back in uh, or i grab the whole bag and set it over onto a gator or a rock saw or something uh, to get it out of the to take it with me anyway um, generally on the job I have tool trailers and so my tool trailers have way more than this kind of stuff this is more just quick repairs uh, you know just fixing things adjusting something if I'm by myself at a job and need to pull a dishwasher out and hook it up real quick or fix a leak or something quick on the farm turn the water meter off uh, those kinds of things that's what I've got. Uh, that's what I got all these tools for in my truck. If I'm on the side of the road and I've got an emergency, you don't have every tool you need, but you have a way of fixing something uh, in a pinch or at least rigging it up quick enough to get you down the road. So being prepared is a really big part of my life. Uh, I have a lot of people depending on me to get to the next place safely. And so I try to keep a few tools uh, with me at all times so that I can take care of business anyway so what I want to share with you is the tools that I do keep generally all the time and I feel like I'm missing something if I don't have them and I keep multiples of them so starting down here I've got two or three different sets of needle nose pliers I keep a pair of really nice wire stripper um, wire uh, cutters two sides of aviation snips the left and a right but you can use them for a lot of different things cutting bands on piles of wood cutting large stuff like a pair of scissors uh, a pair of klein side cutters two set pair of side cutters there i've got three different size pipe wrenches three different sets of allen wrenches both sae and metrics um, i keep extra chainsaw wrenches uh, and chainsaw files and flat files and triangle files or sharpening up and adjusting stuff, getting rid of burrs. I use chainsaw files all the time, like a rat tail file to get rid of burrs and things. Um, I keep grinder wrench. This universal wrench right here that from Husky is a really cool deal. Side, side, side. It always adjusts just about to every size from I think seven eighths down. Um, I keep a spare flashlight besides the two that are in my truck. Um, that one just stays in the tool bag all the time. I've got a 12 volt low voltage circuit, um, power tester, I've got this um, current beeper. I keep a couple of sharpies, extra pencils, three razor blade knives with extra blades in every single one of those. Uh, of course, you remember you can take the blades out and use them for scrapers for all kinds of stuff. A very few box wrenches, some nut drivers. A selection of odds and ends screwdrivers mostly the ones that aren't at our shop and um, I keep a pack of a 50 or 100 zip ties at all times roll of paper towels and WD-40 I keep a, an impact drill a regular cordless drill a charger and battery I can charge the charger off my truck if I need extra batteries but I've got two batteries with me at all times I keep a roll of Teflon tape a, a box of drill bits and then this little box is 
was a universal screws, but I keep a selection of miscellaneous bits for the drills of all different kinds, Torx bits and Phillips and nut drivers, for just about any little thing, but not a huge set. One roll of duct tape, these little electric um, gel, gel wire connectors. I keep a bag or two of those in my truck for when I'm pulling a trailer and have an electric wire, especially if you have a blowout or something on a, like a box trailer like that. The, uh, they're real bad about cutting your brake wires when you have a blowout, so I keep those to repair brake lines. I keep a hammer, a hacksaw, turn the blade backwards on it, and then if I need it, I can turn it around real quick. Um, punches, a small crowbar, three or four different punches. An old putty knife is really handy for a lot of things, whether you're packing a bearing, scraping some glue, doesn't matter what you're doing, uh, pulling an old seal off of something. If you have to work on a, on a fuel pump on the side of the road, it's handy to have. Uh, can't say enough about vice grips. Always keep three or four sets of vice grips, whether you're fencing or you're fixing a brake line or pinching an old brake line off that you just messed up on a big truck or an airline that's broken. Uh, they just are great for everything. Turn in a bad nut or bolt. Three or four sets of crescent wrenches and uh, adjustable pliers and, and uh, any kind of pliers is good to have for lots of different things. I keep a 100 foot tape measure. I've also got a 25 or 30 footer up in the truck. I have that extra bag up there for just the drill bits and the drills. Um, those things stay separate in a separate bag. And then of course up in the front of my truck, I've got a cooler that stays in here. There's some flagging tape from what we're doing right now for Christmas trees, but I've got some other emergency stuff, big first aid kit, those kinds of things. Anyway, all of these tools go in that bag, believe it or not, other than the drills. And then you can barely pick it up and at the end of the day you'll have basically what you need to fix or rig up everything uh, in a minute's notice you know we we pull a lot of trailers with our trucks and, and if you have trailers you have problems um, these uh, probing type electrical fixtures are dirt cheap but they're you clamp that on a ground somewhere you can poke that super sharp point into a wire see if you're getting current to it so you can check your brakes out or lights or turn signals, those kinds of things. Um, having good wire strippers on you and uh, being able to do that, repairing it with these clamps, having electrical tape to wrap it up and keep it dry is a big thing. Zip ties to tie up stuff. Uh, good sharp razor knives that won't kill you when you try to use them. And of course, flashlights in the dark. Those things are just absolutely necessities, to, I think, to have in a in a truck if, if you're pulling trailers and you're a responsible hauler. Anyway, I hope this helps as you put your tool kits together. Uh, maybe when you, when you get a chance, you can take pictures of things that you've got that you keep in your truck all the time. I know everybody's application is different for what they do. And um, there's not a lot of, a lot of uh, commonality, I guess, when it comes to what you need. And it seems like I always need more. And so tools migrate. <laughs> they migrate into my truck and then I'll kind of go back through and pare them down if I haven't used it for a while. I've noticed I've had three or four crowbars and a spud bar and all kinds of stuff. Just seem like they've hung around in my truck for quite a while. And uh, eventually I clean them out and then the next day I need them. But anyway, you can only haul so much stuff. If I had, a, if I had every tool that I might use on my truck, I would end up with a with a utility bed truck with boxes everywhere and I do have uh, I do have you know two or three different flatbed trucks that have undercarriage toolboxes and fuel tank toolboxes and they're chock full of stuff all the time these are my basic tools that I keep in my personal pickup truck uh, so that when I'm out and about I've got stuff to, to do a little bit with so I don't get stranded that's mostly what it's about it's not getting stranded getting home getting home safe hope this video was helpful and uh informative and if you can smash the like button and put some comments below what you think of my rusty old dirty tools 
then uh, that's fine. I'll tell you one thing as a side note. Um, I don't spend a lot of money on tools. You know, a good pair of strippers like this, these are these are uh, channel lock brand. Those are awesome. These side cutters are some channel lock brand ones. I've got two or three different pairs of those that uh, I've got around the farm and the house. These cutters and those cutters, um, where they have the cutting mechanism that, that can easily get damaged, uh, those are by far, if you're gonna spend money, spend money on those. These little cutters like these cheap ones here, who knows what they are, probably a TSC brand thing. Uh, they get notches. I don't know if you can see these notches in there, but they get real bad grooves in them and they become worthless after a while. But they're dime a dozen, easy to come by. Uh, one thing I don't do is go and spend, you know, 40 or $50 on a pair of pliers like that um, or, or $100 on a crescent wrench that is name brand because these off-brand tools that I have or mainstream tools at least uh, have lasted me for years and years and years and years and if they break I can replace it five or six times for the price of one really expensive tool so buy the best you can afford but don't be ridiculous about it save your money for the things that are important and uh, just don't buy super cheap stuff that'll bust your knuckles every time you use it. Well, with that, y'all have a great day.